Adam, day before God, friends, and family, I vow to honor and respect you with my words, my actions, and thoughts as I honor and respect God. Christine, I will cherish you like the jewel and daughter of God that you are. I will continuously seek to be a leader worthy of being called your husband. And I just want you to know that I love you so much and I'm so excited to start this adventure. Well, now that you, Adam, and you, Christine, have consented together in holy matrimony and pledged your faith to each other by giving and receiving rings before God in friends and family, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder in Adam. You kiss your bird. As a child, I thought 25 is the perfect age to get married. Since then, I have been praying for God to prepare someone for me. Little did I know that his path would lead me to you. I remember when Christine first mentioned meeting a guy named Adam after a talent show at their school. At the time, Christine and I both had been obsessed with a book and movie series called The Hunger Games. Yes, she was 22 at the time. <laughs> and the first thing she told me about Adam is he reminded her of a character in the book, Peta was known for being kind and thoughtful. She then told me about how he danced with an inflatable whale at the talent show on stage. <laughs> this left me a little confused, but excited for her at the same time. In case you haven't figured it out by now, Adam is an incredibly adventurous, fun, and an exciting person. Something very important happened in med school. He met this lovely lady, Christine. The first time I saw you, you made me laugh so hard I cried. We became close friends. You pursued me with gentleness, thoughtfulness, patience, and integrity. We fell in love, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. At first, they were just friends for a while. I remember her talking about how smart, funny, and he was, and I thought she was crazy for not dating him. I realize now that their great friendship is what's so special about their relationship. I have never seen Adam nervous before. And the first time that I ever saw Adam noticeably nervous was when he was preparing to ask Christine out on their first date. And it was fantastic in the sweetest way. When they started dating and I met Adam for my first time, I saw for myself all the great things Christine told me about. Adam is fun to be around, kind to everybody, and most importantly, loves God and my sister. I believe I speak on behalf of my brothers when I say our family is so excited to gain a great guy like Adam as a brother. And on behalf of everyone here, when I say we're excited to see their future together. Now, I am 25 about to be married. God has shown me so much through you. You bring out the best in me. You are my favorite. Today, I am overjoyed to marry my best friend.
Christine, I'm happy, like for real. Leading up to this day, I can never imagine how I'd feel. But let me tell you, if you could mix puppies with pure happiness, that would be pretty close. I cannot believe you're gonna be my wife. I'm the luckiest guy I know. There's no other person I'd like to go on this adventure with that is called life. I love you and can't wait to finally get the honor to make you my bride. Christine, when I was thinking about what I wanted to say, at this moment, I found myself wanting to say that I want to be the husband that loves you like Christ loves the church. But while that's true, I don't think that's sufficient. I want you to know what that means. To me, that means I promise to love and support you, to be sensitive to your needs, and daily sacrificing myself in various ways for you. I vow to first look within and examine myself, to be quick to listen, and to be slow to anger. Adam, you have cared for me physically, spiritually, and emotionally as a friend. Today, I vow to care for you, to continually pursue you, to know you. From the depths of my being, I promise to be your loyal companion and loving friend on life's journey. For you're the greatest adventure God has given me, and today I joyfully start it. Well, let me just take the joy of this moment. Let me just read a familiar verse out of Numbers chapter 6. And this is speaking over you guys and over every person who's here in this room right now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Well, it gives me great joy to say I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Adam Clay.